Hi, today we will discuss about simple proteins. On the basis of solubility and physical properties, proteins are divided into three classes. Simple, conjugated and derived proteins. On the basis of solubility and physical properties, proteins are divided into three main classes. Simple proteins conjugated proteins and derived proteins. So today we will discuss about simple proteins. Simple proteins are proteins which on complete hydrolysis yield only amino acids. These are subclassified based on their solubilities and their heat coagulabilities. So, simple proteins are proteins which on complete hydrolysis yield only amino acids. They, they are subclassified based on their solubilities and heat coagulabilities. These properties depend on the size and shape of the protein molecule. The different subclasses are protamines, histones, albumins, globulins, gliadins or prolamins, glutalins, scleroproteins or albuminoids. First we will see first sub subclass that is protamines. Protamines are small molecules and are soluble in water, dilute acids and alkalis and dilute ammonia. So they are small molecules. They are non-coagulable by heat. They do not contain amino acids, cysteine, tryptophan and tyrosine. They do not contain cysteine, tryptophan and tyrosine. But they are rich in arginine. These are small molecules and they are soluble in water, dilute acids and alkalis and dilute ammonia. They are non-coagulable by heat. They do not contain cysteine, tryptophan and tyrosine but they are rich in arginine. The isoelectric pH is around 7.4. Isoelectric pH is 7.4. And they exist as basic proteins in the body. They are basic proteins. They combine with the nucleic acids to form nucleoproteins. Combine with the nucleic acids to form nucleoproteins. For example, salmine. Next one is sardinine and cyprinine. These are of fish sperm, these are in fish sperms and testes. So isolated pH is around 7.4 and they exist as basic proteins in the body. They combine with the nucleic acids to form nucleoproteins. That is about the protamines. Next subdivision is histones. Next a simple protein is histones. Histones are basic proteins rich in arginine and histidine. They are basic proteins rich in arginine and histidine with the alkaline isoelectric pH. Alkaline isoelectric pH. They are soluble in water, dilute acids and salt solutions but insoluble in ammonia. They do not readily coagulate in, on heating. They form conjugated proteins with the nucleic acids and porphyrin. They form conjugated proteins with the nucleic acids and porphyrins. They act as repressors of template activity of DNA in RNA synthesis. The protein part of hemoglobin that is globin is an atypical histone. So globin, protein part of hemoglobin that is hemoglobin is an atypical histone having a predominance of histidine and lysine. Histidine and lysine instead of arginine. Instead of arginine. Uh, 
globin has a predominance of histidine and lysine. For example, nucleohistones, nucleo histones, chromosomal nucleoproteins, chromosomal nucleoproteins, then globin of hemoglobin. They are the, uh, these are the examples of histones. Next subdivision is albumin. Next a simple protein is albumin. Albumins are soluble in water and in dilute salt solutions. They are coagulable by heat and changed to products that are insoluble in water and salt solutions. So, albumins are soluble in water and in dilute salt solutions. But, um, or by heat coagulation, they change into products that are insoluble in water and salt solutions. The albumins may be precipitated in solution by saturating the solution with the ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate. So, they can be precipitated by uh, saturating the solution with the ammonium sulfate. They have low isoelectric pH, that is about 4.7. And they are acidic proteins at the pH of 7.4. So they are acidic proteins. Isoelectric pH 4.7. So they are, they are acidic proteins at the pH 7.4. They are deficient in glycine. Deficient in glycine. For example, plant albumins, legumelin in legumes, leucosin in cereals. Animal sources are over albumin in egg and lact albumin in milk. Next simple protein is globulin. Globulin. Globulin, they are insoluble in water but soluble in dilute neutral salt solutions. Soluble in dilute neutral salt solutions. They are heat coagulable. They can be precipitated by Half saturation with the ammonia sulfate or by full saturation with the sodium chloride. Can be precipitated by half saturation with the ammonium sulfate and full saturation with the sodium chloride. Globulins bind with the heme. Then it is called hemopexin. If it bind with the heme, it is called hemopexin. With, with the metals, it forms transferrin ceruloplasmin. Transferrin ceruloplasmin. Then with the carbohydrates, immunoglobulins. Other examples are ovoglobulin in eggs, lactoglobulin in milk, legumin from legumes. That is about a globulin. Next simple protein is gliadins. Otherwise called as prolamines. Prolamines. These are alcohol soluble plant proteins. They are insoluble in water or salt solutions and absolute alcohol. But they dissolve only in 50 to 80 percent ethanol. So they are plant proteins. They are alcohol soluble. Insoluble in water or salt solutions and absolute alcohol only dissolve in 50 to 80 percentage ethanol. They are very rich in proline. Rich in proline but poor in lysine. For example, gliadin of wheat and hoarding of barley. Next one is glutenins. Next simple protein is Glutenins. Glutenins are also plant proteins. They are insoluble in water or neutral salt solutions. They are soluble in dilute acids or alkalis. They are rich in glutamic acid. Rich in glutamic acid. They can be coagulated by heat. For example, orizinin of rice and glutenin of wheat. That is about the glutenins. Next simple protein is scleroproteins. 
Scleroproteins or albuminoids. Albuminoids. These are fibrous proteins with the great stability and very low solubility. They are fiber, fibrous proteins. They have great stability and very low solubility. They form supporting structures of animals. Three types are there. Keratin, collagen and elastin. Keratin, collagen and elastin. First we will see keratins. Keratins are characteristic constituents of horn, hair, nails, wood, hoof and feathers. Two types are there. Hard keratins and soft keratins. Is hard keratins on hydrolysis yield histidine, lysine, and arginine in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 12. So, hard keratins on hydrolysis, this hard keratins yield histidine, lysine, and arginine in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 12. But in the case of soft or pseudo keratins, soft or pseudo keratins, they occur in the outermost layer of the skin. They do not have these amino acids in the same ratio. They occur in the outermost layer of the skin. In neuro keratin, the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 2. Neuro keratin. Ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 2. Ratio means histidine, lysine and arginine. Human hair has a higher content of cysteine than other species. So it is called as alpha keratin. Alpha keratin that is human hair has a higher content of cysteine. So it is called alpha keratin. Then beta keratins are there. Beta keratins are deficient in cysteine and rich in glycine and alanine. Alpha keratin Rich in cysteine. Beta keratins. Rich in glycine and alanine. Beta keratins are deficient in cysteine and rich in glycine and alanine. They are present in spiders web, silk and reptilian scales. That is about keratins. Next steroprotein is collagen. Collagen. Collagen is a protein found in connective tissue and bone. They are found in connective tissue and bones. They are long, thin, partially crystalline substances. They are soluble in all neutral salt solvents. It is converted into a hard, tough substance on treatment with tannic acid. On treated, treatment with the tannic acid, they became hard, tough substance. This is the basis of tanning process. By boiling, collagen can be easily converted to gelatin. By boiling, it is converted to gelatin by splitting some amino acids. That is about Collagen. Next is chloroprotein is elastin. Elastin. These are the proteins present in yellow elastic fiber of the connective tissue, ligaments and tendons. Proteins present in yellow elastic fiber of the connective tissue, ligaments and tendons. They are rich in non-polar amino acids such as alanine, leucine, valine and proline. They do not contain cysteine, methionine, 5 hydroxylysine and histidine. They are formed in a large amount in uterus during pregnancy. Elastins are hydrolyzed by pancreatic elastase enzyme. Pancreatic elastase enzyme. That is about scleroproteins. So this is today's topic. Thank you for watching.